What's up YouTube? This is Lithium with another Dueling Network video. Um, I've been testing Frog Monarchs for the past few days with uh, yeah, some of the new and upcoming cards like uh, Card Guard D, uh, Trial and Tribulation and uh, yeah, of course Illusion Snatch. Um, I'll post its card effect in the video description. Also, uh, before I start the game, our Nationals is coming up uh, this weekend, so uh, expect a lot of coverage from that. Um, not going to waste any more time, let's get to the duel. So this was uh, actually game 2, I believe. Yes, this was game 2. Um, I know the guy, yeah, yeah, he's playing uh, Erratics. Um, so I know what the deck he's playing. Our open average, open with a 3-born, three, 3 tributes, Maxi and Feeler. So that's, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, though he special summons a Tefnuit, immediately tributes it for another Tefnuit. He activate the Maxi. Yeah, on the special summon of his Watt Meter Dragon. Draw a card. Draw the battle failure, so feeling comfortable at the moment. He's going to exceed into an Atom, yes, so not going to exceed for the Photon Strike Bouncer. Um, draw into the enemy controller. Here I'm thinking if I should uh, activate the effect, uh, if I should activate the effect feeler or not. I decide to activate it because uh, yeah, I'm a bit scared of his back row card. Um, if it's a solemn morning and I only have one battle fader, um, then it's probably game for him. So uh, he exceeds into uh, Gaia Dragoon. So I uh, draw another card and attacks over my Treeborn for 2 5 damage. My turn. I'm going to special summon the Treeborn in the semi face. Then activate the enemy controller. Yes. So still has that back row card. Don't draw into my MST. Target this Gaia Dragoon with the enemy controller. Uh, yeah, no response from him. So special summon the Treeborn frog because it's still in my face. Immediately go to the battle phase and attack for 2-6 damage. It's free damage, of course. And then tribute for Ryza. Target is back row. Let's see what it was. Yes, it was a solemn judgment. He decides to chain it. Fine with me. Loses life points. Half his life points. Um, again, feeling pretty comfortable. I have the fader in hand. Um, activate seal. Yes, yeah, searched out the seal. So, uh, yeah, it's probably going to make a big move uh, this turn. He normal summons the asset. Immediately tributes it for a Sue. I don't have Feeler, don't have Maxi. Yeah, special summons the Luster Dragon from his deck. Exceeds into Atom, activates Atom's effect to special summon the Red Eyes. Yeah, pretty standard place for Erotics. Um, then he activates Red Eyes effect to special summon the Gaia Dragoon from his grave, I believe. Yeah, it's a dragon. Again, to attack over my Treeborn Frog for 2 5 damage, so it's going to hurt. Here he doesn't exceed into uh, a second guy dragoon, so uh, that worries me a bit because yeah he sets one back row I believe, so uh, that tells me that it's probably a uh, solemn morning or something like that to uh, yeah to stop the monarch playing next turn. So uh, yeah I think that that he has a game at the moment. So special summon three one to send my face. My only play here is to uh, tribute summon for chaos to target this uh, guy dragoon. Um, yeah, luckily, it's, he has, doesn't have the Solemn Morning, no Veiler also, so that lets me special summon the Illusion Snatch from my hand, because I tribute a monster. So now Illusion Snatch is a level 6, exceed into the Ptolemy's Messier 7. Don't activate its effect just yet, maybe I should, maybe I, maybe I should have, um, but I don't think that the Erotics uh, play Mirror Force, so that's why I uh, didn't activate it immediately. But yeah, in phase 2, activate Ptolemy's effect to bounce his uh, Atom. So, he reveals his back row, it was a pot of the duality. He, yeah, reveals three yeah, useless cards at the moment. Uh, he takes the effect feeler. Yeah, shuffle the deck. So again, I have the battle fader in hand, so feeling safe. Sets one monster. Um, yeah, going to special summon a treeborn in defense position. Here I should have the game in the back. Um, activate Ptolemy's effect. I could target this monster, but uh, yeah, again, I feel that I have the game in the back, so I take uh, the Illusion Snatch from my graveyard and tribute for Zaborg. Yeah, target this monster, obviously. He's going to activate the feeler in a moment. Yeah, to negate Zaborg's effect. So, Illusion Snatch is special summoned as a level 5, because the Borg is a level 5, and then exceed into the Constellar Pleiades. Activate its effect to bounce this monster. 
and yeah, he has two seven life points left. So I take directly with the con yeah with uh, Constellept on this Master Seven, and yeah, no Swift Scarecrow, so that's a good game. So quick look at the decklist. As you guys can see, I'm playing uh, two Illusion Snatch, which is more than enough. Uh, the Exceed option is nice with the Monarch. Um, I'm playing Suborg because it's level five, and uh, with Illusion Snatch you can make cards like uh, Tiras uh, or Adrius. But uh, yeah, also very important the Constellar Pleiades, as you saw in the video. Um, it has a bounce effect during e yeah during either player's turn, so uh, real nice against uh, Insectors, for example. Um, I'm playing Triple Sup, Triple Treeborn, one Ronin, and one Foolish as my Frog Engine. Uh, I prefer this over Double Treeborn because uh, yeah, it gives me seven outs to open with a uh, possible Treeborn first turn. Um, and you all know if you don't open with a Treeborn when playing Frog Monarchs, your chance of winning will decline dramatically. Yeah, by each turn. Um, also, triple Veiler, one Maxi, um, no Trogodia. Uh, tested it again and again, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just so useless against uh, insectors and windups. Um, I rather play uh, Maxi and extra Veilers over it. Uh, you can play Track because of its uh, exceed capabilities, but uh, yeah, I didn't like it in testing. Um, I also tested Card Guard D. It's okay. Um, if I find room, I would play one or two. Uh, maybe I would drop uh, the one Maxi for one card card D. Um, three card card D is definitely too much. Um, yeah, I've also tested Trine on Tribulation. Uh, most of the time it's just uh, an upside goblin in the end phase. Uh, rarely I got some uh, pluses out of it. Like, uh, yeah, when you tribute two monsters in the same turn, thanks to enemy controller, for example, followed up by a monarch, uh, I was able to, uh, yeah, to take uh, two monsters from my graveyard and put them back into my hands. But yeah, I don't think that it's really worth it. Um, yeah, so will these new cards make Frog Monarchs tier 1? Um, no, I don't uh, think so, sadly not. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the deck, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. So yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.